What is up, YouTube? So, this subject has really brought my attention just because I've been going down a rabbit hole and I can say I'm fully well experienced on this topic and I can say I can have some sort of understanding about the topic. Most people probably would, wouldn't take me serious just because it really just seems like it's just about Northern Asians arguing with other Northern Asians, specifically Northern Asian women, but I, I still I still got some credibility behind what I'm saying, even though I'm a Southeast Asian um, person of Lao ethnicity. So let's get right to it. So me as a person, I like to read both sides of the story. And excuse me, it's really hot out here in the South. And uh, this has been like a very controversial topic between Asian men and Asian women because of the fact that Asian men get bashed on for the fact that we tell the truth, but we don't we don't really tell we don't really explain why. Let's just put it this way: we don't we don't see it from the eyes of of the Asian woman, how she sees it as, of why she wants to bash Asian men, even though she came from an Asian man. So what I'm about to say is very dark and truthful. And a lot of people may not agree with me because it takes a lot of guts to agree to what I say, but I am a, I've experienced this all my life. I can 100% agree with what I'm about to say and if you find it crazy and delusional then you yourself are crazy and delusional because a sane person can understand what I'm talking about for what I'm about to say the reason why Asian women go to white males or black males and bash Asian men is because of the because of their fathers their fathers are what you call beta male providers. In the Asian community, we're very, I know, I know it seemed like we live this glamorous life of rich, successful, smart people who are hard workers, hustlers, and we, you know, we strive for success no matter what. It seems like once you're born Asian, you're already successful, but that's not the case with every Asian race because some of us actually have to wake up and go to a job that we don't enjoy and work our ass off and figure out what we're gonna do with this money because we don't wanna work here for the rest of our lives. So because of that, we're not all successful. Just, you know, just to throw it out there. And I didn't have a 4.0 GPA. I, I actually don't even like school. I, I hate school with a passion. That's why I didn't go to college because I knew that if I was smart with my money, I can go somewhere in life. And, but on the other hand, my siblings, they went to college because that's what society told them to. I decided to do my own thing because I knew what was right for me. So let me get that out the, out the way. The dark side of being Asian is we live in a cycle of pain and trauma. A lot of people won't, you know, come forth about this or ever talk about it because, you know, it triggers their PTSD. It makes them feel some sort of, you know, it makes them have those like negative thoughts about the times where they were depressed. Um, they didn't know how to express their emotions. They didn't know where to go to express their emotions and nobody would help them. So here they are all alone and nobody to talk to. And, and if they try to go to a professional, that professional wouldn't even understand because let's just be real, like not, it's hard to find a real professional therapist that's actually helpful out here who's not trying to empty your pockets or sell you some drugs that lead you down the wrong path. So I understand why they bash 
Asian males. But there, there's another side of, you know, there are some horrible Asian women out there who bash Asian males because deep down they want to be a male. And they and they they look at other males and they they pity. I mean they 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 look at them at envy and jealousy to the point where every time they see Asian male, they just can't stand the fact that you know I can't be them. Or they had like a like a little brother or older brother that was like you know that did better in them and some type of you know they, they were just better in them and they just didn't understand why they weren't getting the most appraisal and attention from their parents or whatever. But there's another side where I can understand where they don't want to think about the dark times where, you know, they didn't know where to go with their emotions. Because, you know, Asian parents are kind of like stuck up. They don't want to deal with that mental, that mental stuff or that emotional stuff. They just want to go to work, go home, go to work, go home, feed you, go work, go home like you a damn robot or something with no emotions. I didn't realize this until I was until I left, until I left my parents' house and lived on my own. And just to make it, just to even make it better, I had, I had a great circle of people in my life that literally uplifted me to do the things that I wanted to do in life. Even, it meant, even if it meant I had to sleep in my car for like a few months and get back on my feet, or if it meant that I had to work a job with horrible coworkers or, you know, I had to deal with this and that, but they still supported me no matter what. Like I get it, it's hard to make friends out here, but us Asian people, me personally, I've always gotten along with most Asian people, most of the part, but you know, everybody's got their bad apples in every race, but you know. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just, you know, leave it like that maybe maybe these women just want to get away from that trauma and that's why they see that's why they try to you know they go with the white guy you know who who has like this conservative christian family and they want to change their life or they want to go with this um black male who's you know just very supportive very emotionally uh, supportive like he's just all around masculine dude who's really trying to help her heal and grow her because you know the Asian community ain't gonna do it. But, you know, that's none of my business. I mean, my bad, her her family won't do it because they're all dysfunctional too. We live in this cycle of pain and trauma to the point where we don't know where to go when we need to, you know, deal with these untrapped emotions that they need to come out. And I, I, I've seen it. I've seen it firsthand with my own family, my own cousins, like, I mean, everybody. What's the crazy part is these people, they live in this delusion like everything's okay, but in reality, they're dying inside. It's like a, it's like a slow suicide if you think about it. But for me, I, I run to the truth. I don't run from it. I'm not in denial. I'm not gonna sit here and try to you know, try to compensate, like, you know, use drugs or go spend my whole wallet on something stupid just to make me feel better in the moment than realize that it was a stupid impulse purchase. Like, I, I've literally seen this firsthand. And just take a guess who, who's the most financially well-off person in my family. Just take a guess. But I, I, I'm not going to say me, but I will say this. Mental health is literally the most important thing when it comes to money handling, but, you know, they're not gonna tell you that because you know, Asian parents are like, hey, stay focused, go to school, become a doctor, make a lot of money. Don't have a life. Forget life is not life is not worth hanging out with friends, where life is not worth um doing all this like new experience and stuff. But in my eyes, I I I I, I, I don't listen to that. I, I it goes in one ear, it goes to the other because the more and more I go my own way the more and more i realized that i was meant to either die or go to prison because i wasn't meant for the school system so yeah but at the same time like i'm not saying they're right a lot of people are gonna probably comment like oh yeah he's 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 only backing this up backing these women up because you know he a simp and all like i love asian women without a doubt if I had to choose out of all the women that I've came across, Asian women are going to be my top priority, without a doubt.
because I'm an Asian male. It's like, I don't have, I'm not really into white women like most of these Asian dudes. No offense to them, I just don't find them appealing like how most dudes are. And I'm not really into, yeah. I, I would rather have a minority woman or a woman who's like bilingual, you know, something that's more interesting and not something basic. But you know, that's, that's none of my business. You choose what you want, that's not my preference. Just telling you my preference. Don't get mad, don't get mad. But yeah, I, I hope that, you know, that was very clear and precise of how I broke it down. But if not, please, you know, feel free to leave your opinion in my comments. I'm, I'm, I'm an open ear to whatever you wanna say. So, yeah.